In this tutorial, I'm going to show you five tips to get better selections and crisp edges inside of Photoshop. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I've got five tips for you on how to get much better selections inside of Photoshop. Now I've got another tutorial that I did that shows how to get those selections and I'm going to link to that underneath. This one actually takes it a little bit further and shows you how to get nice edges and just kind of elevates it to the next level. So here's a, a, a little image I made, a little Game of Thrones image. And I shot this cosplayer at Comic-Con San Diego. And so what I want to do is get nice clean edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here to load this selection. So I've got that other tutorial shows you how to get these selections. Now we're moving beyond that and going further. All right, so what we're going to do is create a layer mask. So click on the layer mask and notice we get a pretty good cutout. However, if we come down here, see these edges are not quite perfect. And this is one of the things I love about using a layer mask. Now, when we're using the layer mask, we can choke the edge of that mask. And let me show you how to do that right now. All we need to do is hit Control or Command L for levels. So right now we're opening up levels on our layer mask. Now watch what happens to this edge as we take the blacks in a little bit. See how it just kind of pulls that edge in. And a lot of that edge movement is actually going to happen here with the mid slider. Look at this, the gray slider. We can pull it in, we can push it out. So we're just looking for a nice edge, which is about there. Look at that. Look how nice that is. And we're going to click OK. Now, obviously, I got a little heavy handed with that selection, so I could easily paint that back in, just hit the X key and just, you know, paint in with white. All right, so let me just zoom out here for a second because I'm going to give you a bonus tip. Sometimes when you cut things out and you resize, you get this line down the middle. I'll show you how easy it is to get rid of that. Choose black as your foreground color. You're just going to grab a brush and you're just going to click at the top. Now release everything, move to the bottom, hold down the shift key first, click again, draws a straight line, gets rid of that. Tip number two, finding the edges. Okay, so we've got our selection. Let's go into select a mask. Now here's one of the things I always like to do in Select a Mask. If you look here, you can see the edges. They're, they're pretty good, but hit Show Edge, go under the radius and increase that a little bit until you see that little line there. Let's go back up a little bit more. All right, once we've got that edge, click here, show the edge once again, and what this does is it gives us a much better selection. So we're actually helping Photoshop with those edges. And then of course we always grab our hairbrush here and just go around the hair to get better hair selections, making sure you get all the ends. And I could even go around the furry here, which I normally would do, but let's just do an output to a layer mask, click OK. And we've got our layer mask. Now, don't worry about these edges because you could do the same trick we did last time. Control Command L. Play around with that. Pull in these edges. The hair, you might want to manually paint that. Tip number three. What if you don't like select a mask? You prefer the old refine edge, but it's gone, right? Well, no, it's actually there. It's hidden in Photoshop, and I'm going to show you how to find it right now. So what we do is go into select. Go down to select a mask, just like you normally would. This has to be done through the menu though, not on the button on the top. Just go down to select a mask, hold down the shift key and click. And now you get refine edge. And now we've got our old refine edge. Show radius. And boom, there's our selection. Tip number four, the best selection is when you don't have to make a selection. Okay, so here we've got some smoke and on the layer underneath, we've got our person. So, so what I wanna do is get rid of the black and just show the smoke. Now I could do this with a layer blending mode going down to something like lighten or screen. But the problem with that is notice you only get the white smoke, not the gray smoke. So if we wanna be able to control exactly how much smoke we want, we're gonna do it a different way. Click on effects, 
You'll see blending options there. That's clickable. Click on that. And now you get advanced blending. So what we're going to do is we know this top layer here, we want to get rid of the blacks. So we're going to grab this slider and we're going to drag it across to get rid of it. But notice it's very, very hard edges. We want to soften that edge. So what we do is hold the Alt or the Option key. See this little triangle? Click on the left side and you can separate it and drag this back to wherever you like and just play around like this and you can decide how dense or how dark or thin you want that smoke. Let's go to there. And the nice thing about it is on a layer so we can move it around and we can do whatever we want with it. Tip number five, how to do an automatic cleanup and avoid a lot of brushing. All right, let's have a look. So we want to select this using color range to select color range. And we're going to click on the blue here. Notice that all of these blues are not the same. It appears they would be, but they're not. And we can just click and drag here to get a nice selection around the rest of the image. Play around with the fuzziness. So we get it nice and clean. Click OK. And it looks like we got a perfect cutout. But wait, hit the Q key for quick mask. And now what we're going to do is go to the channels. Click on the eyedropper by RGB. And now we're just looking at the mask. Notice these areas have got areas of gray and little dots and spots everywhere. And in the black here, there's little spots of white. So typically what people do is they grab the brush and start painting. Stop the madness. There's an easier way of doing this. With that mask selected, hit Control or Command L for levels. Pop it up. And see this? All these pixels we want to get rid of. Just click and drag. And as we drag those, notice it cleans everything up, gets rid of all those areas of black. So now we've got a perfect white plate, which will give us a perfect cutout. Now in here, we can play around a little bit there with the blacks. And that's going to fill in the little dots. And you can also play with the grays to fill in some of these other areas that are kind of semi-selected. Click OK. Take a black brush and just quickly just touch up these other areas. All right, and then when you're done, all we need to do is just click on the thumbnail for RGB. Notice the mask is hidden. Click on the layers. Hit the Q key to bring up that quick mask. And now we just want to cut it out. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key or the Option because everything but the motorcyclist is selected. Click on the mask and boom, we've got a nice cutout, including all the dirt, spokes, without all that noise and mess. So anyway, I got a question for you guys. Where are you watching from right now? Not where do you live, but where are you actually watching from? And what kind of device are you watching it on? Let us know in the comments underneath. And if you like Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials, subscribe to Photoshop Cafe right now. And also ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new tutorial, which is usually every single Tuesday. So anyway, guys, if you like this, smash that like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.